All right, so the next step in the process of um, you know, dealing with photos and uploading them, it, it would be to export them from, from, uh, from Lightroom. So what I have here, down here in the bottom right hand corner, I've got, uh, I've got all, so I have total 369 photos and I've singled out um, 69 of them. Uh, that that I want to sort of upload to Google Plus, which used to be called Picasa. So I'm going to sort of show you how you know how I go through that process. If you've never done this before, if you have, I mean it's super easy. But you know, you know, I'm just assuming that 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 you're uh, you've never done any of this before, and then you can sort of choose to to choose to to watch whatever part of this you want to watch so hey yeah, i went through and edited a bunch of pictures again you saw my editing process which i don't even know if i'd call it editing um i know there's you know the much more sophisticated um and much more artistic ways to do it but to me you know like for instance you know take uh take this picture i mean to me that looks good you know good enough uh, i i can see flaws and i can see how you can improve it but um you know, I, I'm limited in my time, and, and obviously I've I, I, I got a lot of hobbies per, that pertain to cars, so I don't want to I don't want to sit here and labor over you know t over over putting pictures up and trying to make it 10% better. You know, you sort of get into sort of diminishing returns. Uh, Andrew took some pictures of me, just so I figured I'll upload some of these just so I have some shots of myself because I really don't have any pictures of myself. Um, mainly just for the website, not to not to stare at. Um, although some of you guys probably think I sit there and stare at myself because you, you do think I'm a narcissist. But anyway, you got to roll with the punches, I guess. Okay, so I've I've singled out by selecting. So I five starred all these. I could have flagged them. I could have chosen to do do some other things, um, but uh, use you know, like call them red or yellow or something like that. But so the filter I'm using is five stars. So now I want to export these photos. So I'm going to export them. And, and I need to choose a folder. And I already created a folder, uh, 912 Monte Carlo Shoot. Um, so this is on my, uh, on my Promise Pegasus, in my Pictures file, in my iMac Lightroom file, in Matt's version of the Lightroom file. And then I have a Car Exports folder where I keep all my Car Exports stuff. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking these raw images that are sort of useless to, to, to many media and, and converting them to JPEGs and, and saving them in, in a file. Um, so I'm going to choose the 912 multi-car shoot file, which I've been sort of messing with over the last couple of days. Um, and then I'm going to have quality at 100%. And I resize these because a lot of the forums won't resize for you. Um, so I'll resize, especially Bimmer Post won't resize them. So you have a giant photo. I mean, these are like, let's see, what are these? I think these are like 5,500 by 3,200 or something like that. So I'm resizing them to 1365 by 1080, 240 pixels per inch. I'm not doing any additional sharpening or anything like that. And I'm not going to watermark these. Um, I need to work on creating sort of a watermark because I keep seeing my pictures all over the place. Not that it really matters, but you know, occasionally I'll see on Instagram um, that you know some dude say check out the car on detailing, and it's my freaking car in my driveway that they stole my picture from Google Plus or somewhere else. So uh, it's flattering. I don't really care, but um, shoot, if you're going to use it, at least maybe I can get some uh, some shameless promotion via um, you know obsessed garage via where people. Just, steal my photos um, so um, so I'm going to export this um, and actually I forgot to select all the pictures that was just going to export the one so I'm going to command all export it kept that file and everything else is the same and I'm going to export and uh, what I'll do here because I was messing around earlier I'll um, use unique names for those four that are redundant so, so that's the you know that's the process in, in exporting from from Lightroom. It'll take out a, a couple of minutes to do that. So while I'm doing while that's while that's doing its work, I'm going to uh, I'll show you sort of in Google Plus how how to upload this stuff. 
and again, a lot of you young guys that watch this are probably laughing at, at why would I even show this because it's super easy. But um, I've been a, a Picasso user for a long time. Um, in fact, I think Picasso and Flickr came out similar times. So let's see, I've been using this since you know, whatever this album was. So this would have been in 2010, something like that. Um, so I've been using this for a while, and I've compiled an album. I, I compiled an album. And since I'm a YouTube user and, and, and Google, Gmail user, it just kind of works out simply here and um, uh, to, 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 to upload stuff. It, it, was a, it took me a few years to figure out that there is an option. I uh, forget where it is, but there's an option in here somewhere to... Let's look at my account. Uh, anyway, there's an option to choose high res or high quality so I can, I can upload photos. Let's see, it's probably... It's in here somewhere. Some of you guys are screaming at the screen. Um, so, so what I'll start. What I want to do here is just simply create a new, a new um, album and upload some photos. So um, I'm gonna wait until. Uh, see, this is you know working on. It's on its way to to exporting. Or finishing exports. So let me pause the video here. Let me let this finish, and then I'll show you how to how to. Upload. Okay. So the. The, the photos from Lightroom have been exported, um, so now I'm, uh, I'm in Firefox and I'm in Google Plus. You could go to Google Photos, but I've I've just gotten used to Google Plus as they you know Google Plus Photos as they as they update the you know the, the page. I just kind of it just fits into my workflow, and as they change it and update it, I I kind of evolve with it. So rather than changing to Flickr or something else, it just works for me. So let's let's upload photos. So all those photos, those 69 photos that we exported, uh, we're gonna go and find those. So again, they were you know I remember, and I'm usually downloading from the same place anyway. So there was a few others in here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna command all, oops, command all, and open. So now they'll sort of work that way through. By the way, I did go in here and figure out where the um, where you where you need to choose. I don't know why I never thought to do this, but sometimes my pictures would look a little bit different, a um, little yellower, or you a little yellowish, or just not quite as sharp. So you know, one of the things you need to do is is make sure that to upload at full size, um, and, uh, and and you don't want it to do any sort of. Um, I guess I could always take a, not allow people to download my pictures, but yeah, what do I care? Um, I don't want to create anything that uh, or do any do any adjustments. So that's just the simple thing you need to click um, to to um, to upload your videos in full size. That for the longest time, so some of my original pic not videos pictures are not, are not at the right not not full size. So you can see these some of these sometimes will get hung up. A lot of times I'll just delete them. Um, so you know we're uploading pretty pretty quickly. Photo and I'll just leave it there, just just so that it's all in one spot. I've got some stuff that is pretty redundant, so I can probably skip blogging or posting the, a lot of these a lot of these. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I have two screens, but I don't think I can share both screens on Quick, the QuickTime Movie Maker here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Ren List, and I'm going to pull up my journal, and I'm going to post my journal, and I wanted to show you how to, how to do that. So here's my journal, I'm going to go to the last page. And I just like to sort of update this stuff as, you know, a lot of it would be, honestly, for me, so I can go back and maybe someday read this journal. Hopefully it just exists here forever, but um, I'm going to go, you know, what, you, what you'll do is, you know, so I've created a screen name, this is me on the, 
on forums and um, you know, I link all my stuff so people can figure out who I am if they want to. Some people don't like that. They don't like me sharing too much information. They think that I'm trying to uh, trying to get attention, but you know, whatever. I, I guess you can't win them all. So most of the guys think it's cool. Um, so uh, Renlist, of course, is the GT3 forum, and and what I'm doing, what I'll do here is I'm going to go advanced, and I'm going to create. A, you know, I'll call the title. So let's call this um, first shoot of both first shoot of GT3. And then I'll, you know, I'll type something in here, uh, which I won't, I won't bore you with the details, but I'll, I'll probably just type something in here. You can come look at it later. And so what I need to do is I need to link these photos that I've, that I've uploaded. So it looks like they're all done, exception of these two, which we could wait and retry. I'm just going to delete them. I've got enough photos, so we'll, we'll move down to, to a smaller group. So now I'm going to post them or host them. I'm going to skip tagging. I'm going to call these public. And I'm going to share. So notice a few of them had a, had a watermark. I was really, I was just sort of playing with a watermark to see if I could figure out how to do it. Um, my, my web guy is going to come out with a, one without a background and stuff. But I'm sure I could go in and reconstruct it. But he's going to come out with some, some cool stuff. He's my artist friend. He's going to come out with some cool uh, of how to, you know, how to create different logos and stuff. So you see, I have, some of these are like from a, a quarter of an inch different, but, um, you know, I, I always tend to err on the side of posting more than less. Um, I know that's, that, that, that's probably frustrating to some, but, you know, I just like it when people post pictures. Again, what I'm trying to do is share or do what I want other people to do. Um, and if you got a cool car and I'm looking at pictures of it, I don't want to look at two of them. I want to look at 50 of them. And if I don't want to look at them, I just won't. So I, I, just, I just like that option of the more content, the better. So, and I know some people don't share that same opinion, um, but, but that's, you know, that's what I like to see. So that's what I'm going to show the world, I guess. Um, so what I would do here, and normally I would do this on two separate screens. So I have a screen on the right, screen on the left. Um, what I would what I would typically do would be um, I'd, I'd pull this out in a new window and I'd pull up my pictures and um, and I would uh, uh, you know, sort of have them available or ready to, to ready to sort of right click on copy the image location and then go host them on on Renlist. So all I'm really doing is I'm mapping the hosted image from Google Plus and telling the Renlist forum where to go look for that picture. Um, you could also attach it. Um, you could you could create you know you could create your own album, but it's much faster in my opinion, and 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 you you can you have sort of unlimited storage on um, uh, on on Google Plus, and you pay ten bucks for a hundred gigs. I've only got seven gigs on there, and I've been using it for five years so you know it'll take me forever to fill it up. it'll cost me five bucks a year um, to host the, the picture so um, here's how you do it real simple copy the image and there are a bunch of different ways to do this this is just the way that I've gotten accustomed to I click the image icon here and then Renlist happens to give you a sort of a, an uploading tool where um, I'm, I'm able to you know now I could upload right from my computer but I, again, prefer to host it and then upload it. It's a little faster. It takes a little bit more time to, to get the images in here. Um, but, uh, but I'm going to upload from a URL. And what I'll do is just keep, kinda click, keep clicking through here and picking pictures out one at a time. Those were, I was using those for... Uh, YouTube's um, creating a new whatever you call that thing the page at the top the picture at the top Same there. so there's a lot of redundancy in some of these photos but whatever maybe a little more redundancy
frequency that I like. Let's see here. I think some of these might be repeats. That's a little different. We don't need both of these. Let's get rid of this one. So I'm just control C, control V, and I'll just copy the image, right click, right click, copy image location. I a second. Okay, that is different. Copy. You could always just right click here and paste if you wanted to. And it inserts it. So, you know, I'll kind of crank through these one at a time and insert them. So I won't take you through that whole step. What I'll do is I'll come back and edit. So I'm going to insert these. So notice the actual sort of the, the maps and where it creates a sort of an image location of, of these photos. And typically I'll type, a, I'll, what I'll do is I'll type up a caption, sort of explain whatever I want to explain here. And, uh, and then this will bump my thread to the top. Um, so, and I, and I try to not do that too much because it's, I know it's annoying. Um, I don't want to dominate the forums with my stupid journal, but I know some people like to read it. So, so I, I try, to, try to not dominate the forum and, and, and post too much crap, but, but try, to, try to limit my posts and try to, try to make it useful content, at least what I think is useful. So if I submit this reply, you could have previewed the post as well. There's my pictures. So, title, first shoot of M3 and GT3. I guess this picture doesn't really belong now, does it? Um, so, and I'm probably gonna post these on my, on my Bimmer. I, yeah, I guess I will, I'm gonna post these on my my M3 post journal as well. So the, you know, the simple thing to do here is after I put all the pictures in, I edit down here. I can right click, select all, and take these exact same, copy this, take, take these exact same images over to M3 post and, and essentially do the same thing, save myself a lot of time. So I should probably make quick links to my journals, but I haven't really posted very much. It's been page. Again, I'm already logged in. So I would go advanced, type in, again, first, there you go, first shoot of GT3 and M3 together, control V, and notice all that stuff is here. I'm not going to submit it yet, um, but, uh, but, but that's, the, that's the process. So, you know, I exported, again, to sort of wrap this up, I exported my favorites via the export option from, from, from Lightroom. You'll have to go watch the other videos if you want to see how I edited and how I actually got them or took the picture and how I uploaded them to, to Lightroom. Um, but for, for this video, it's I export it from Lightroom. Then I uploaded to Google Plus. Then I'm copying the location and then moving them over to, to uh, or mapping them over to, um, to, to Renlist. So that's, you know, that's the real simple function of how I would, how I would get them into, um, into the, into a forum. So it is really pretty simple. So if I'm pretty efficient at this because I post a lot of crap. So you know, to do this whole project, now it took me a lot longer because I'm, I'm sharing this experience with you guys. Um, but you figure for me to edit 60 or 70 photos and with my limited editing skills probably takes an hour. Um, the photo shoot, shoot took say an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So there's two, two and a half hours. Um, then, then I'm gonna upload, type up a caption. Uh, so in, let's, that didn't take me that long, but let's say that takes another hour. 
so to do a sort of a major shoot like this, this would be you know a lot bigger than a normal project I would do. It'd probably take me about three hours on a weekend that I'll just kind of fit in when I have the time. And if I do that once a week or so, you know, it's not that bad. Um, so despite the fact that it looks like I'm spending hundreds of hours jerking around with this crap, um, and that's part of the reason why I don't edit my videos as, 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 as well as I could. I actually did my first video in Final Cut um, because I was forced to because it was overexposed. You can't really adjust in, in, uh, in, the, in, in iMovie 10, so I was forced to use it. It actually works very similarly. But, you know, that's part of the reason why I don't edit the heck out of my videos because um, I just don't have time. I don't have time to do that. Uh, I want to share as much as I can and I want it to be as good as it can be. But um, honestly, you know, some of the videos and stuff, I'd rather you just skip around because, you know, I might be, I might say something that some people watch the whole videos. There might be something in there that you didn't know um, that's sort of nitpicky or, or something small that I point out that might help you help you along. And I've said this before, one of the coolest things about it, I went to a two-day detailing seminar with Mike Phillips at Auto Geek, and one of the coolest things about it was learning how, how he wraps a, um, wraps a power cord around the, the orbit or the DA. So, you know, that was the, my big takeaway from the, from the whole weekend of 20 hours of instruction. So, um, maybe, maybe you guys will take some little, little tidbit out of this, even if you are a photographer. Um, you can at least affirm that you are much smarter than me and do a much better photographer. But again, I made the disclaimer in the beginning that I don't claim to be a photographer. I just have decent gear, or really good gear, I should say, and, uh, and an above average idea of how the stuff works. Um, just lack the, the artistic uh, eye in order to, to get the best pictures possible. But, you know, I would argue this looks pretty decent. So, so that's the process. That's how I'd go through it, and um, and I, I hope that helps you. Uh, again, there are three videos in this series, and I'm going to sort of retitle them so you'll, you'll be able to figure that out if you're watching on YouTube. So, video one was how to take how I take a picture. Video two is how I edit a picture, and then video three is how I uh, export, upload, and then blog a picture. And I'll probably do at some point probably show you um, uh, another video I just thought of while I'm sitting here is we could probably also talk about WordPress a little bit uh, and, and, and go through my limited, uh, my limited expertise of, um, of, of, of WordPress and how I use it. So hopefully you guys aren't trying to figure out my password there to go and crash my site. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I have a lot more stuff that I have on the docket. Um, I'll, uh, I'll get to it when I can, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing. If you don't, I'm sure you'll tell me. Most of you guys do. Uh, thanks for watching.